Hi, diddly ho, neighborinos. Hey, everybody. Aaron and Aretha. And uh, we... Go ahead, baby. Oh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. We're just kind of uh, here to say hey. Tell yeah. you know what we've been doing. It, we haven't posted anything in like 12 or 13 days, which is uh, out of the norm for us pretty much. Um, so we wanted to hop on here and say hi. Um, a lot of life has happened. We've introduced our, we moved on to 20 acres and we had some wild babies that we cats. loved. Wild cats, sorry. Um, that we loved and cuddled and, you know, and we had to get them all fixed and that you know, you have to be at the vet at 7.45, and it's like an hour away, and then you have to coordinate, you know, picking the cat back up, and it's back-to-back -back cats. Um, huge shout-out to Tuolumne County mm -hmm. Spay and Neuter. They basically sponsored. Yeah, they they hooked it up. Um, they reimbursed us for every cat that we had fixed. I mean, just phenomenal love yeah. for wild cats, and, you know... I guess technically our cats aren't considered wild anymore because we've we feed them and we pet them and but we can't not and so that's hard for us and so you know like the one wild the wild father cat we've never been able to touch we're still trying to trap him not a, not a fan of that cat <laughs> that cat drives us crazy but the wild mother cat we have been able to kind of tame and we think she gave birth to another litter before we could get to her so that's kind of been and plus winter like do, yeah we were getting a lot of storms tons and tons of rain like our whole chimney top was ripped off um and so you know doing this because we knew cats i think get pregnant or have babies in the spring and so we've just been trying to get them all fixed because we can't have any more cat i think we have not including the possible new litter we have like nine cats 10. Maybe 10. I mean, the Let's plus see. side to that is we have no mice on 20 acres. We have no bugs. You know, they, yeah. I mean, they even eat moths. They're, I mean, they're adorable and they're, I love those cats. I wake up every morning, go out to feed them and pick each one of them up and hug them and kiss them. And I can't have cats inside. I just can't. I mean, I, I can't stand litter boxes and stuff, but we're trying to give them the best life that we can outside they're pretty happy they're pretty happy they have trees to run up and down and they're always digging and doing silly things anyways enough about the cats um we do have this fancy dancy beer choice here we're pretty excited to try this i think we've had something from full circle we have and it was very interesting it was a sour oh it was actually kind of gross you didn't like it i thought it was okay it was like um yeah, sour gummy worm or something like that. This is a full circle peaches and cream Illa, 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 Illa. Uh, milkshake India pale ale um, brewed with peaches, yeah. vanilla, and lactose. Oh, okay. Well, good thing we're not lactose intolerant. Um, drink beer, be you, catch a vibe, find your tribe, no bad vibes. That's what it says on the back. 6.5% alcohol. It's called a milkshake IPA. They say to pair it with Rosa Brothers Milk Company Peaches and Cream Ice Cream. And they are based out of, what, Fresno? Fres, yes. Fres, yes. So, I mean, that's what, three, two and a half hours from us? Yep. Three hours from us. Um, so, yeah, we're excited to try this. Uh, we have some more updates, so we're going to get our beer going so that we can drink our beer while we're talking to you guys. Now that we're done with the kitty cats. So, we're going to pop these babies open. I smell beer. Did you let him out? <gasps> you guys saw Absolutely that. Absolutely not. He... Absolutely not. Almost. Uh... Almost. Oh, did you not actually drink mm -mm. it? Boy. <clears throat> mm. Oh, wow. I mean, I can taste the peach. I taste the peach a little bit, but um, thankfully I don't taste the lactose. I don't, yeah, I mean, I'd have to look into what, you know, like, I know people are lactose intolerant, and that's usually, like, cheese and milk and stuff, so I don't really know how it would be in yeah. beer. No, I don't. I'll have, have to look into that one. We'll have to look into it. Overall, you know, though, it's pretty good, to be It's honest. pretty good, and I can honestly say I 
I taste kind of like a milkshakey peach. It's it's not thick, but yeah. it is. Like just in, like the, in the finish of in it, the finish it was kind of, of like yeah, a thicker taste. It tastes like silky, silky smooth kind of at the end. But um, also <laughs> though, you know, for those of you who are not huge IPA fans, which I, I'm kind of picky about my IPAs. Like I can't do like double IPAs and triple IPAs and quadruple IPAs. But this is this is nice. I'm not mad at it. No, I mean it's not bitter. Is that the word for IPAs? They're just kind of like he loves. IPAs. Well, they're hoppy, which is a whole taste in itself. But so it's not overly peachy. It's not overly vanilla y. And once again, it's not over lactose y. Um, I would eat this over that ice cream. I would. That, yeah. that sounds great. Be better um, than over Cheerios. Oh, gosh. Well, technically, we can't stand milk like cow's I'm not milk. Not a huge fan. I mean, I don't know what it is. It's probably psychosomatic, but it just bloop, makes me like curl. Love ice cream. Love ice cream. Love, love cheese. cheese. Love. Love me, I love cottage cheese and sour cream and things with milk in them and milk based. But just drinking milk, like we'll buy milk because we'll find you know a deal on cereal. I'll be like, oh, this is excellent cereal, so we'll get some milk. And I swear to you, nine and three quarters times out of ten, we throw that we end up throwing the cereal and the milk out because we just didn't. We go to eat it and we're just like, whoa. Yeah. So, anyways, this is good. So, you guys, if you get a chance. Full Circle Brewery, Peaches and Cream, Illa. Illa, Illa. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. So, a couple of things that um, we're excited about. Well, you just went snowboarding. I went snowboarding with a buddy, uh, buddy and co-worker, same person. He's a buddy and a co-worker. Um, we went to Dodge Ridge, which is one of the local mountains, and it was really fun. Um, I haven't been in a little over a year. Yeah, we went to Dodge Ridge, and we filmed that. I didn't go because it was kind of a buddy day, but um, we did go to Dodge Ridge last year. And, and we stopped by a couple months ago. And we stopped by a couple months ago. So it's it's one of our home resorts. We love it. It's smaller than Bear Valley, but it's still really fun. Um, yeah, it was fun. We had a good time. Uh, my knees didn't have such a good time towards the end. And I have to say... I, I have was... bad knees, so you know. He has bad knees, and I was really proud of him for honoring what his body was telling him. And I want to say, I mean, obviously we're we're still a pretty small channel, but I do want to give a huge shout out to Alan from Mammoth Club because he talked about this the other day on his Instagram channel or his Instagram page. He talked about how sometimes, or a lot of times, you know, it's still expected out of society for men to not feel and to not recognize those feelings and act on those feelings and you know i i just got the chills but it really really was a nice you guys should go look it up his instagram is just alan 91 just alan 91 and he's molly's husband in mammoth club and it, it really was a special um post and so i just want to tell you i when he got home and told me that i was so proud of him because years ago we're 46 so and and i think honestly i think molly and alan are probably in their early 30s or something and so then in our early 30s he wouldn't have stopped he would have just kept going he would not have listened to his body and he would have been in excruciating pain well yeah my mind wanted to keep going there's still a lot of things i wanted to do runs i wanted to take but but um, your body was telling you to stop. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then eventually, the last round of my brain was telling me to stop as well. So Yeah. Well, I'll give you guys a perfect perfect example. Even, I think it was seven years ago, I was actually just looking at this memory on Facebook, and it was so stressful for me. Um, he went snowboarding, and it was during the biggest storm we had had. And he was pushing, 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 because he wanted to get all the fresh powder in and all this stuff. He fell down a tree well, and you came home with the, the biggest, he had a bruise, like the worst bruise you could possibly imagine. Well, He's, I ran into a branch sticking off a tree, which... It wasn't a, there's no way that was a branch. It was a 
well, okay, a, we're talking like big up in the Sierra Mountains branch, and he smacked it with his thigh really Which hard. Which in turn sent me tumbling into a tree, a tree well. well. And he, you know, that's the one thing, like I try to tell people, we grew up up here and we always try to tell people, you know, do not ski or snowboard alone. Do not go hiking alone. Do not go swimming in a river that's got fresh snow runoff. You know, it can get dangerous. And, um, okay, so that's kind of a tangent. But I'm just saying I'm very proud of you for listening. And not only listening, but acting on. Because he recovered in one and a half days as opposed to what would have been probably two weeks. Well... Still recovering. The knees are still a little puffy and sore, but they're better than... Well, because the next day you were you were kind of gimping. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, he... One of his knees, he severely hurt, like tore his meniscus and ACL snowboarding, doing a random trick. And then the other knee, um, when we were working on a farm, he went to go swing out on a tree swing and kind of like lost your grip no so some people had come and cut the top off the tree and they limbed it all the way down and they left the rope that they had used to climb the tree and so it was a, a cool little swing you would just swing around the tree and swing land back, back around the tree so imagine though you have to put the scenario here's the here's where the tree is in the mountain well no the, and then there's down here you start up here so it's terraced. The The tree was up here on a terrace, and then there's a lower terrace that you swing over. Over the terrace. And so what had happened was, as I was going around, oh, yeah. the tree, or the rope, caught on one of the, the little knots left from one of the branches. It, it wasn't cut all the way to the tree. There's about this much of a branch left, and the rope caught on that. And as soon as it snapped off of that... Uh, little... Little branch knob, um, it yanked. the slack that was in the rope uh, yanked the rope out of my hands and I fell. I don't know, fifteen feet probably. Oh, I would say twenty. Yes, yeah, maybe fifteen. But then, so I knew I had a bad knee, so I went to go land with my good knee, and uh, instantly that became my now not good knee. It's now worse than the snowboarding. Yeah. Knee. Oh. But, um, you know, he's also had a s literal piece of stick this big stuck in the back of his calf for weeks. And I'm like, what the hell is wrong with the back of your calf? It just kept getting more red and more red and more red. And, like, all of a sudden I saw something, like, poking out of it. And I'm like, there is something sticking out of your calf. I don't know. And it was a freaking piece of stick. Now, how in the hell you didn't feel that? So, that's actually the third time. I told you about the piece of rope. yellow poly plastic rope that got stuck in there somehow. And then also I had a little chunk of a palm frond. I know that. Yeah. So. So, anyways. Okay. This is why I'm overemphasizing how proud I am of him listening. Thank you, babe. <laughs> to his body. Uh, because, you know... For those of you that, for those of our listeners, and we actually have a decent audience in their 20s for our Home Arch podcast, which we <clears throat> love you guys so much, and we just appreciate that. Um, but keep in mind, you know, like Aaron said earlier, your mind still wants to go like you're in your 20s. I mean, you don't really age <laughs> mentally. I mean, you mature, but but Part, your body. Yeah, parts of my brain are older than they should be, and... Yeah, a lot of them definitely are not. And so, but your body, you're like, oh, whoa, I can't go 100 miles an hour all day like I used to be able to, you know. I mean, before kiddos, for me, it was like, oh, yeah, you know, I'd go to my first job from 6 to 2, you know, wait tables at night, and then I'd go out, you know. I could never. Oh, gosh, no. Well, I would work at ski resort. Uh, all day, and then go work at a pizza place most of the night, and then go out. Yeah, I mean, we and then just... wake up and do it again. And now we're like, okay, so we have this day planned, and it's going to take us about two to three days to recover. <laughs> Anyways, your forties kind of hit. They kind of hit hard. They hit different. They hit different. So forewarning: stay in shape, eat well, 
um, and let your body rest when it needs to. Have fun. Have fun, yeah. Um, your body's going to age no matter what, so have fun. Um, so the other thing we're excited about, I mean, we were excited about him going snowboarding. We're excited about the new season of Stranger Things. Season five? Yeah. Um, mind you, it's not coming out till at least next year, probably the end of next year. Yeah. This is my in honor of how excited I am. Lounge fly. Stranger Things. And it's got a little... A little... A coin purse. Coin purse. I mean, I don't spend this kind of money on things often, but I saw this and I was like, I don't care if I'm 46. I am roaming around with this purse and I love it. My, my dentist had never heard of Stranger Things, so when I hung this on the hook, he was like... I'm like, it's okay. It's a show. Um, but yeah, we're pretty excited about that. Good oh, show. If you haven't watched it, watch it. Yeah, and you haven't seen it yet, but I watched the new movie with Millie Bobby Brown. Yeah, what was it called? Oh, gosh. Um, it's called Damsel. It's yeah. on Netflix. I'll tell you what. It is a good movie. I really loved it. I thought she did an excellent job. And it's not Damsel in Distress. And she says that in the very beginning of the movie. It's Damsel. And she, she does a damn good job. It's a really good movie. I can't wait for him to see it. Um, I work from home. He works away from home, so I get to... Yeah, and you have a commute, an hour commute to and from work. Yeah. Um, so I have more time at home. And there's shows I'm already watching, so it's hard to make time for a movie. Well, and he has his Pokemon YouTubers that he keeps up with. And those are, like, daily, you know. Speaking of which, um, Cletus Brodog... He's doing good with his YouTube channel. He's You've got, like, what, 200 subscribers now? Maybe. Like 195 something. or something like that. And um, he's getting thousands of views on his shorts. So if you guys are into Pokemon, check him out. Cletus Bro Dog. Cletus is obviously the name of our dog. And he's also the name of the dog in Resident, Resident Alien. Alien. Which, which is a thought, good show. It's a good Netflix. show. We thought that was so funny. Um... We got our new D23 magazine. D23. D23. We also got this Mickey statue from D23. Oh, we have a video on that. I'm just saying. Yeah. No, I'm, I know. But, so this is the new, we love being D23 members. And we try to go to events and stuff when we can. But this is the new magazine. Um, this is the new Frozen. That's all featured in there. Uh, Hong Kong. Yeah, Frozen Hong Frozen Kong. Land in Hong Kong. And it's just a cool magazine. It, it basically gives you all the uh, the news and updates about uh, Disney parks and movies. and. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then there's an app where you can go in and check out the events and, and stuff like that. There's some pretty cool events. We went, if you haven't seen, we went to a galactic Star Wars disco. That was fun. It was really cool. That was so fun. They had a taco bar. They had a DJ. They had tons of um photo ops we took pictures with darth vader and the stormtroopers stormtrooper um i can't remember what they call it but we took a picture with princess leia but she was in a costume the one she wore when she went to go get han solo from jabba the hut yeah so we have that video we also have some galactic star cruiser videos on our channel and um everything's in our playlist so. rest in peace galactic star oh. cruiser then someone started a brutal rumor that they were reopening it. I think it was probably Mousetrap News. Um, so yeah, those are a couple of things we're excited about. Um, we do have tickets. We're, we're really trying to make it and bring this to you guys. Um, we do have tickets to the opening night of Scream Break. Oh, Six Flags, yep. Six Flags. So I just want to put this in there. Um, my mom just got out of the hospital. So that, that we forgot to mention that in, on top of our kitty cats. Um, my mom just got out of the hospital. She was in there for over a week and she had a new pacemaker put in. Um, she had a massive heart attack on my 40th birthday. So she had a new pacemaker put in because her other one has fired a few times. And so it kind of makes it not, I don't know, like... It kills it, basically. It, it's had to work so many times that it started. Yeah. And plus, I think over time, it's just best to replace them anyway. Yeah, so they had to literally open her up. She's got an incision about this big. 
and put the new pacemaker, which beats her heart for her, which is wild. And probably helpful. And helpful. Um, complete transparency. Uh, I know some people don't believe in COVID-19 long hauler, um, but talking about the heart, I actually have a heart monitor on right now. Um, so we've been dealing with that as well. I have some heart issues. I don't know the extent of them, you know, um, but we're in the middle of a ton of testing with my cardiologist um, because since I had COVID twice, I've had like some heart palpitations and heart murmurs and just some different things. So, you know, um, those are the things we've been dealing with, which is why we haven't put a video out in a couple of weeks. And we do apologize. Um, we like to get at least one good video out every, every week. And then we try to get more out. And as our channel grows and we're able to do this more full time, you know, we would try to get out two or three videos a week. Yeah. We tried the daily thing, um, but we just don't think our lives here at home are as exciting enough to... Well, it's exciting in the fact that there it's is exciting. always something happening, but it might not always be something that... You guys would be interested is... in. Like, I don't know that you guys want to see, you know, us out feeding the cats and the dogs and the, you know, raking and weed eating and all the stuff that comes along with property on a daily basis. But we do take breaks it's important to take breaks in life but if you want to see me weed eat <laughs> i weed eat too i'm just saying yeah but if you want to see him weed eat it's pretty handsome it's pretty cute <laughs> um so yes we have tickets to screen break uh you know we're well and then the next day is food around the world food opening around day the world. of food around the world so we really want to make it to those two things but again life just tends to happen. Like if something happens with my mom, um, I obviously, we wouldn't be able to make it because I'll be at the hospital with her. And, um, you know, the pacemaker is so new because she was in the hospital for a few days before she got it. And then in the hospital for a few days after she got it. And on top of that, we do have four or six cats. Oh, that we have, that we're still taking. Yeah. And the only day they can go is, is on, on a Friday. Friday. And that would be the day that, we will be going to Six Flags, so if we also get that call, we can't go because we have to get them taken care of. Yeah, it's on call. Like, we have to be ready when they call and say, we have a, an appointment for you. The first, that's why you thought four, is because the first appointment, we have four cat cages, like where you put it out with food and it catches the cat. Um, most of them we can put in there. Because, we have six left, right? Well, yeah. So the first appointment is four cats. So we then, have 11 cats. Oh, gosh. 11 cats. Because we had three taken care of. Four, six more to go. Six, seven, eight, nine. Percy and Brandy. Ten, eleven. Well, plus the father cat. Yeah, I don't count him. He's he's not ours. He just comes on property to. Well, he has to be ours because I don't want him impregnating any more cats. I know. I'm just saying. I. He's terrible. I, that cat. I mean, I love animals, and I I'm an animal lover. I will love, I will love any animal. You know how some ugly animals can be cute because they're so ugly. He's just ugly. And like, but he's not though. He's actually a really pretty cat. He's he just, could be, but he's just like he's an a hole. I don't know. He's, he's not. just mean, and he's he does he like we've been here two two years, and we've never been able to even get close to him. He won't. He no he idea where he comes from. He's well fed somewhere else. Are you sure? I think he eats our food. I don't know. Anyways, so. Yes. So if we get that call, we won't be going to screen break. If something happens with my mom, we won't be going to screen break. Um, but we're going to try. We're really going to try. If it seems like my mom is doing well on that day and um, the kitty cats, we don't get the call about the cats, then we're going to try to head down and, and get that done. Um, but, you know, we just wanted to hop on here, do a big fat cheers um, to say, you know, thank you guys so much for sticking with us. Yep. Yeah. Um, 641 subscribers. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, so we're pretty excited about that. I mean, we can remember when we were like 25. We almost have 25 subscribers. And then our first 100 was... I think you sent a gift. I did. 25th subscriber. Yep. I sent a gift to our 25th subscriber. I don't remember what it was now. I think... Oh, it was the hats that we got at the D23 event. Remember we got those hats that were too small for us. They were like Coca-Cola hats. No. Yeah, it was hats. I think it was out of the... When we went to the D23 event, we got that Coca-Cola box. That I, was the I don't remember there being a hat in there. 
Yeah, there were hats. And they were, you tried it on. I have it on video. We can go back and you can see. You tried it on and it was too small. Yeah. And so I sent both of those because, um, and the person ended up giving them to her nieces. Because they were, they were child size. I mean, they were just too small for our heads anyways. I probably could have made mine work, but. Not me. It would have probably given me a headache after a day of wearing it. Um, we also, you know, uh, we were, we, so we were going to go down and film this really awesome brewery that we are still going to film once life settles down a little bit. Um, we were going to go down and film that brewery. It's a like multi acres brewery where it's interactive and, um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of cool stuff there. Just like activities and they have like trains and food trucks. Yeah. And... So we're going to go do that. Um, we just kind of had to put things on the back burner for a minute. And then also we want to do an updated um, merch video for the San Francisco Disney store. So Disney um, outlet. Yeah. Disney outlet. Yeah. Um, so those are all things that we are going to get out to you guys. Um, you know, we just, just life. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get we there. Will. But you know, again, we're, we are having a ton of fun doing this. We really enjoyed um, our Sacramento vlog. Yeah, that was, that was a great trip. I didn't want to go back down there and stay in, on the on the riverboat. Yep, yep. Um, it's just like the Queen Mary, but it's the Delta King. And smaller. And smaller, yeah. But you can have Excuse dinner. Me. They have a nice bar. I mean, I honestly got like t Titanic vibes on it. And what's, <laughs> well, that it it sank. sank. And At that's, least partially. It partially. And so we were walking up the stairs. If you guys watched the video, we were walking up this beautiful flight of stairs. And I even said to Aaron, I don't, I can't remember if this part's on film, but I said to him, I'm like, you can just feel, you know, people in the forties and stuff walking up and down these stairs and how beautiful they were probably dressed and stuff. And, you know, what an elegant experience it was. And then we found out the ship sunk. Well, I saw a picture of a boat half sunk. And then later on in, we we'll walk around the boat found out that it was that boat because it was hard to tell because half of it was underwater. Crazy. And then it was renovated. And that, that happened in San Francisco? I feel like the, sh the sinking happened up north. I think it sank in San Francisco. Mm. I and can't they, remember. They towed it back to Sacramento, I think, and got it fixed. Renovated it. I think. Um, but, yeah, so we'll... We, we have lots of plans. We can't wait to... We can't wait to continue growing and filming we really enjoy it actually yeah no it's great and you know the weather's getting better although yeah. the weather's also it went from pouring inches of rain last week and it's to wind first so and then sun brutal wind and it's 75 degrees but it feels like it's 98 because we haven't felt heat in so long yeah the wind up here because we're at the top of a mountain the wind I mean, it gets up to... Which is oof. what happened to the top of our chimney. Yes. Yeah. All of a sudden, you know, we had so much smoke without even the doors being open on our fireplace. We had so much smoke pouring out of our fireplace. Because it, it blew the top off the chimney. So the wind was just forcing the smoke back down the chimney and then yeah. feeding the fire from within. And so it just kept blowing smoke into the house instead of getting sucked up the chimney. As... It was a nightmare because it yeah. was it was storming. It was windy. We couldn't get up on the roof. He wanted to. I'm like, hell no, you're not doing that. Um, you know, again, we're in the house that I grew up in. And we moved back here two and a half years ago. My dad um, asked us to come back and take care of the place. And so we're renovating it and stuff. And I can remember as a little kid, I mean, maybe eight years old, my dad, we had a storm like that. And my dad got up got up on the roof. I didn't realize the seriousness of it as a kid, but he almost fell off. Um, and I can just remember that. So I'm like, no, you're not getting on the roof. So we had to go grab five gallon buckets, fill them with water to open the fireplace, get, I think we, did we put some on our face? Okay. No. Um, and put the logs, the burning logs inside of the five gallon buckets of water so that we could get the fire to stop burning. And we had in the wind and rainstorm, and not just like some rain or some wind and some wind. No, we're talking swamps of rain and wind going everywhere, like 70 mile per hour winds. And we had to have all the windows in the house and all the doors wide open to get the smoke. I mean, it looked, you couldn't even see the kitchen. 
It was crazy. Northern California storms. Oh yeah. Yeah, don't let anybody tell you that California doesn't get. Oh yeah, it's, it's not uh, just sunny beaches. We are nowhere near a beach. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say nowhere near. Now, someone oh. who lives in Ohio is nowhere near. Well, it depends. They don't have an ocean beach, but they have the Great Lakes. Okay, well, maybe pick a different state then, like a little bit more south. Let's go to Nebraska. Okay, so Nebraska. They We are probably two and a half, three hours from, from the beach. So anyways, you guys, um, that is the update on us. No real channel updates other than we're just going to keep trying to, if, if you guys have, you know, I mean, we're, we're, we're pretty new. We're just figuring this all out. We're still, you know, we still dabble with different editing techniques. If, um, if you guys have any, anything you want to say, you can email us, mingle with the kringles at gmail.com. If there's something you want to see more of, um, let us know, you know, if you, if you happen to know the Calaveras, Tuolumne, Amador County area at all, and there's something that you, you know is cool and you want to see, let us know. Yeah, That's... if you haven't been able to get here and you'd like us to go film it, let us know. We we film areas around here a lot as well, which we enjoy. Because there's a lot of cool history here. So the Gold Rush um, area brought everybody to California. And... Our Snore vlog really, I mean, for us, took off. Yeah. It's got over 3,000 3, views, and um, people seem to really like it. So uh, we probably need to film more of Sonora because there's a lot. Yep. So um, anyways, we hope all is well in everyone's world. And um, we, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see you guys real soon. We're going to try to get to screen break. Yep. Yep. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Um, We'll get some stuff out and we'll see you soon. Yep. And bye. bye. Diddly eye. Sayonara, dudes.